few of you have asked for it, so here it is, the Tour of Rosie. So this is Rosie, she's a 1995 Mitsubishi Rosa, uh, 7 metres long, just shy of 6 tonnes. Um, around the side here we have the cassette toilet, so it can be accessed through there, and also our waste uh, water down here. Uh, we have a 120 litre grey tank there. Um, back here we have our uh, water heater, so this is the external vent for the water heater, we have a little uh, a Truma water cylinder in there, so it's just a little, uh, I think, 12 litre um, gas water cylinder. Really economic, um, stays hot overnight, which is wonderful. Around here to the boot. So a nice big boot on Rosie here. Um, plenty of room under the uh, the back seats, which we'll show in a sec, under the bed area. Got room for our barbecue in here, our chocks, camping chairs, hoses, that sort of thing. Uh, we've also got our switch panel for our 240 volt and our uh, smart battery charger there, so when we're plugged into 240 volt, we will um, charge our house batteries. Uh, we've also got a heat source uh, gas heater here, which is um, really wonderful. It's, a, it's just a small LPG um, gas heater, which blows hot air directly into the bus. Alrighty, and on this side we have our awning, our door here, and also our freshwater intake. So, uh, just like the grey, we have 120 litres of fresh water as well. Come on in. So first things first, the cab, so Rosie's a automatic, um, really lovely to drive, just like a big car really. Um, there's plenty of room up here, great visibility, um, dogs love to sit just down here between us. So here's the fridge, it's a 80 litre Dometic three-way fridge, uh, runs on gas, 12 volt and also on mains power. Um, we typically run it on gas, um, just because it cools down very quickly and um, and normally the fastest way to cool them down as well and uh, we often run it on the 12 volts when we're driving uh, just to have the gas turned off while we're driving. So we, here we have our closet up the front um, it's got a good rail up the top for uh, hanging garments racks down the bottom for shoes um, another rack down the bottom there we mostly just use this for storing clothes shoes um, put our drone in there as well, a few other cases and things like that, but quite a big bit of storage up the front. Here we have the bathroom. Um, on the right hand side we have our cassette toilet, so that's a uh, 20 litre cassette toilet, that's um, with the door I showed you on the outside earlier, so that's where that can be changed. And on the left hand side we have our um, sink and mirror, uh, also has the shower head there which can lift up uh, for washing. So the benefit of having the toilet up the front is that it leaves the, um, the back kind of nice and open. Some uh, some motorhomes will have their toilet further down here, which is it's fine as well, but we kind of liked the flow of the bus and not having it broken up so much. Um, up here we have our control panel, so we have our switches for our lights, uh, water heater, toilet, that sort of thing. Also a monitor for our tank so we can uh, tell how full it is, and our um, voltage meter to check if we are getting charge from the solar. Um, so back here we have the the table. Um, quite a good little space actually. These two seats here and here um, have seat belts. The squabs also come off and there's storage under them. Um, quite quite big amounts of storage. It's great to have a separate table set up uh, for when you have your bed set up in the back. Just having a separate table to sit and to eat, um, work on a laptop, that sort of thing is really good. Uh, back here, over this side we have the kitchen area. Um, so again, plenty of storage, um, we have cupboards all down here, cupboards uh, for our food, for plates, that sort of thing. Um, most of the cupboards in this bus have uh, these plastic bins in them, which are really fantastic. So they're just on rails and you can just slide them in and out as you need to. You can take them out, you can load them up at home, that sort of thing, uh, really handy. Um, four burner gas oven here, uh, it's got four hubs on the top, it's got a little uh, grill in the middle there. Uh, which we used to do our toast and that sort of thing. 
and an oven down the bottom. Um, big enough to cook a chicken in, but we've never really used that oven at all. Uh, we find ourselves mostly using the grill and uh, the hobs on the top there. A uh, little Dometic range hood up the top. Uh, pretty handy when you're cooking something uh, that's a little bit smellier. Uh, you, can, you can whip that right out. Um, sink here, uh, fresh water filter here. Again, more storage under the sink. Uh, pots and pans, that sort of thing. All our cups and plates are in there. More storage up the top. Um, also, our television is over here on the wall. Alrighty, so here is the uh, sleeping section of the bus. Um, basically, we this is normally the daytime setup of it. Set up sort of like couches here. It's great to sort of uh, for lounging out on, putting your feet up. Um, it can be slept in in the same configuration of two single beds, uh, or with a few boards and an extra squab, we can turn it into a queen size bed. Uh, also, up the top there, we have um, a couple of extra cupboards, which we normally keep all of our clothes and that sort of thing in. Uh, we also have two lights above the bed either side there. Uh, LED lights that are great for reading. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Remember to leave a like and a subscribe down the bottom if you want to see more videos and uh, we'll see you next week with another video.